Kuna ni gani za saa hii na ni gani za kutako in future? Tunarawanwa. Kwa mfano ukianza kusema ya kwa mami nataka ni jenge nyumba. The first question, uko na shamba? <laughs> Ketua jii hau. Todo ukigia kariera ini. So ukishikanisha zote uta, 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 uta kuwa mnyonge sana. Kwa sababu utaona ni kamu kwa kwa shimo. Lakini ukijua step za kutumia utoke kwa shimo. Ukikanyaga ya kwanza na ya pili. Sini kumanisha hope begins to be rebuilt again because you are singing yourself out. Isn't it? So kawanyisha shida. Maana ni vibaya sana kukudaganya hati zitakuisha zote. Hatuwezi tukakudaganya. Please nyangalieni. Hakuna ombi moja tutaomba. Ama mkutano moja tutaorganize. Itakumalizia shida zako zote. Hakuna. Hata tukiita double portion conference. It might actually activate double portion trouble. <laughs> Tuwabia na ukweli. Hakuna se, munajua kuna mutu walikuwa nasema ya kwamba. If I just get access. Aki kwa uh, Pastor Ben Hinn. And niguze tuizbi na mkono maisha angu. My, wadugu na wadada. Kuna watu wanapapasa kichwa kila sandi. Na hawana school fees. <laughs> Shida zako wazwezi zikaisha na kitu kimoja atikifanyike shida zako zote zikuishe. Hapana. Lazima tukutrain kuishi kwa dunia yenye shida na ukona moyo mzuri. Uishi kwa dunia yenye shida na haupotezi tumaini. Uishi kwa, hata Yesu hakusema tutolewa duniani. Ukizoma John chapter 17. Alisema, mimi ni naondoka na kuwaacha hapa duniani. Akasema, ijapokuwa siwa wa dunia, watakaa huku. Akasema, walinde na ukweli wako ambao ni neno. Defend them by the truth which is the word. But I'm going and I'm leaving them here. It's not a nice place, but take care of them here. Jina bwana libarikiwe. Abia mwenzako dunia iko na shida na you can't do much about it. <laughs> Just look at your neighbor. Na shida zingine ni waereze. Hazikuhusu. Ulizikuta huku. Hauku wa huku wakati wa Nuhu wewe. Ulikuwa huku? <laughs> hauku wa huku wakati wa Adam. Na dunia iliaguka wakati zile. Wakati sisi ya tuja kuja. Sisi ya tatumejaribu kutumia technology kuifanya better. You know, life is a bit faster now. But at the end of the day, you are going to have to realize, maisha jinsi ilivyo, dunia jinsi ilivyo, kuna vitu vitafanyika vingi sana vibaya na simu chango yako. Mtoto anaeza katoka kwa nyumba yako wa kurudia kiwa mtu mwigine. Na si wewe umemufudisha, hamekutana na dunia. Tunairawanwa. So you cannot be beating yourself about your problems every now and then. You are going to have to be strong to deal with them. Amen. So gawanyisha mashida, gawanyisha ni gani unadili nae. Sasa ukisema ya kwaba, timu tumia, tisiana. E, tigai, hata kuna mutu sasa sahi shida yake ni mungu. Waka unashaka utamusaidi aji, natukiwa na shida tunawabaka kwa mungu. Na sasa mungu huyo ni problem. My, my first problem is God. Then you are stuck. Jina bono libarikiwe. Sasa ngetaka niseme hivi, kuna, kuna mambo katani ngetaka niseme ya kwamba, uh, you see, when we are dealing with the demons, we cast the demons out. But the strongholds of the mind, we cast down. We pull down. Demons dizo tuna cast out. Rakini akiri, hatuwezi iamuru itoke. Akiri ni kuvuruta chini, unairudisha kwa revo ya neno. Consciously. Tunairawanwa. Akiri ni kuvuruta chini imaginations. Imagination zile haziabatani na good report. Haziabatani na wema na perfect gift of God in the light. They are, they, are, they are part of darkness. You pull them down from your mind. Na kama hautafanya hivyo, maisha hii yako uwezi kuibadilisha. Oh, we can only change life when we agree with what the, the word of God says. Na inasema, tu, tuvurute imagination zetu zenye haziabatani na neno. Tukatae zitangulie. Tukatae zituonyeshe maisha. Tuzivurute chini. Imagination kama za kuona ukilitaya, ukose musada, ate ukage hapo inje, unagongo wanabusi na nyuma. Yani vitu vi, 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 za ajabu. Manda kukuna muzi aliniambia hivyo aliniambia kitu ya naogopa ni kulitaya. Ate, 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 ate niachagwa na family hapo inje, gagothiro onedurome haja. Thika liyona mutu, liyona mutu wa ligongewa hapa. Anafikiria watu wote maisha yao hiko kwa barabara hiyo. Na inaweza kuishia hivyo. Lakini vile vile uko na, 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 na chance ya kuibadilisha. Uh, usicheza na kuzeeka. Daudi ya liombea kuzeeka akasema ya kwamba. Nikiwa na nyewe, nyeupe usini yache. I think alika. Akaona vile kuna marafiki wengi wa farume wanampigia simu. Very influential. Metawara mijimingi. Akajua vile nazidi kuzeeka. Iyo influence itakuwa. Itakuwa narod. 
akamwambia Mungu na I wish nikizeka hutaniacha maana alikuwa ameanza kuona maybe wafarume wengine pere zake walizeka na kitu walifanywa <laughs> jina mbona nibarikiwe akaanza kuombea kuhusu kuzeka kwake because those imaginations will come but in zikikuja katazi kuzikushinde ziambia ya kwamba i'm not just another old man i'm an old man who has a relationship with god and there is a huge difference jina mbona nibarikiwe jina mbona nibarikiwe kwa hivyo wadugu na wadada demons na hizo ndizo watu wengi wana confuse na stronghold unajua kuna watu hata kuteseka kwako kuna tokana na stronghold but unaitaga demon especially ukiona unaombea demon moja mara nyingi na hii demon haibaduki si pepo tena it could be you are praying for a stronghold mistaking it for a demon mtoto kama unamuombea na anarudia tabia ile ile unamuombea tena anarudia tabia una cast out devils hata umeita watu wa kanisa ukaona yetu imetulia sana ukaita kanisa inarukarukaga <laughs> na ile inagoga darama hata wakamgongea hapa kwa masikio wakitoa pepo pepo ikasikiza alafu ikatokea tena it is a, a very clear sign you are no longer dealing with a demon hii ni pepo haisikii darama kama hiyo hizi pepo sasa wewe <laughs> ketisha mtoto wako chini munene muongereshe ina, inaonekana kuna kitu anahitajika kuelewa jina bwana libarikiwe so we cast out the devils but we cast down strongholds amen na wakati tunaongea kuhusu strongholds now we are talking about the mind because actually strongholds are the mindsets also demons they come and live quickly demon huwa zinakuja haraka na huwa zinaondoka haraka uh, lakini <laughs> Strongholds are, bro are broken down slowly. Demon to kiambi I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Haina chance. Mana to mefukuza kwa mamraka ya jina lida lilishinda li 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 mapepo. Biguni duniani na kuzimu. Jina mwana nibarikiwe. Rakini stronghold haiwezi kabadilika instant. Stronghold changes slowly. Slowly. That's why faith comes by hearing and hearing. Kusikia na kusikia tena. Tunaerawanwa? Strongholds break kwa sababu na jikomit kwa program. Wanayudhi muna nisikia? Stronghold breaks because you are adopting a new culture. And you teach yourself to live by it. Unaisi kwa culture mpia deliberately. Every day, consistently, it will break strongholds. Wazijika ma tunaerawanwa? Na kama kuna young person karibu na wewe mwambia kwamba lazima uta develop culture ya, ya kiungu ukue na lifestyle yenye itakuwa consistent. Amen. And then again let me say something else. Uh, demon the, uh, will demons will come out by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Strongholds are broken down through the Holy Scriptures. You don't break strongholds by anointing. Hawezi ukasimama tuseme touch the anointing that will kitokea you have a, a, a new mindset no mindsets are transformed by scripture mindsets are transformed by scripture maana ni knowledge versus knowledge oh jina bwana libarikiwe na hiyo ndio area ile tumeremewa sana maana si watu wengi wanataka kujikomiti kwa neno mnakumbuka paulo akimwambia timothy eh at the since you are youth ama tangu ukiwa mtoto Umejua maandiko. Amen. Umejua maandiko ambayo yana uwezo wa kukuokoa. Si alisema hivyo. Acha nione kama nitaipata. Tumejua maandiko yaliyo na uwezo wa kukuokoa. Yaani yako na uwezo ya kuleta uh, salvation. All right. Na kuna vitu nahitajika ujue tangu ukiwa mtoto. A scripture usipojua saa hii, Bwana asifiwe sana. Ukiwa ukiwa young zitakusubua. Inasema 2 Timothy 3:15. 2 Timothy 3:15 nasema and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. 
Atumejua maandiko tangu kiwa mtoto, maandiko yaliyo na uwezo wa kukufanya waisi. Yani kukupatia hekima ya kweli, hekima ambayo itakuelekeza kwa wokovu ama kwa deliverance. Jina bwana nibarikiwe. Hekima ya Mungu ambayo wewe inaleta ukobozi inatokana na scripture. Inatokana na kujua maandiko ya Mungu. Na ningetaka kila mtu hapa ajikomit kusoma neno. Si kusoma neno juko kanisa, na si kusoma neno juu nataka kusi. Unajua kuna watu the only time anasoma neno ni wakati amesukumwa na mambo, alafu anafunga Bible, alafu anaimba kawimbo ana guess. Mahali atafugua hapo ndio Mungu anataka kutumia kutumia kumnenea. Na kwanza hata haibe nyimbo ya Mungu. Na sikisema e, Mungu nguvu yetu. Afu, mahali mahali atakutana nayo ya kwanza pamemumulika. Nilisikia kuna dugu alikuwa anataka kujinyonga akafanya hivyo. Akasema nataka kujinyonga baba na sasa it's up to you. <laughs> Kama unataka kuniyo. I don't know why people feel atukikufa Mungu ataumia. <laughs> he doesn't exist for us. We exist for God. Huge difference. Jina Bwana libarikiwe. He doesn't serve us, we serve him. So akasema ya kwamba kama unataka kuniokoa utaniokoa na ninaamini nina hapa ninafugua ndio utaninenea na alipofugua akakutana na Yesu akiambia Judas kile umepanga kufanya fanya haraka <laughs> I think hakuwa amejitalisha ame kukufa <laughs> kwa sababu alifunga Bible akasema sitakufa kwa shetani mnaninenea kwa sababu alisha, I think alishika haraka si, si Mungu <laughs> si Mungu anamnenea hizi ni crises za watu hawana knowledge ya scripture Knowledge ya scripture haikuji kwa guesswork ni kitu utakula mpaka kiwe na system kwa akili mpaka kila situation ikitokea you know how to react against it hadi ukiletewa ripoti unajua kuipokea mtu aliye na neno hapokea ripoti kama mtu mwingine ukimwambia kwamba haiwezekani anasema hapana lakini Mungu atatusaidia because the man is reacting according to the knowledge he has now possessed the knowledge in Christ the holy scripture jina bwana libarikiwe Na kama hauna maandiko kwa wingi ndani yako utakosa skill ya kiroho ya kutatua mambo ya huku duniani. Utakutwa na crisis na hujui jinsi ya kuitaku. Tunaelewanwa? Utakwama kwa ukoo na vitu zile zimesubua jamii. Na utatokea utakoo nyingi na maisha haibadiliki kwa sababu unataka ku na mindset kama pepo. Hata vitu nyingi tunaitaka generational curses, they are not curses for you. Hizi ni vitu za kujirudia za kufudishana. Tumeji, yani, ni kwa mfano, ni kilelewa na single mother Na it is unfortunate but it is the truth Majority of the single mother Wanakuwaga na kitu ya kufiru Wanaume wamewakosea Wasipokuwa kefu Wakalea watoto wakiwaonyesha hivyo Uyo mtoto especially kama ni mchana Atashika the same mentality Ata, a, Ataona tu hivyo divyo inafa Ataanza kusema hivyo Ataanza kuangalia maisha na mtazamo huo Na atarudia makosa yako yote Haja irudia kwa sababu wa meraniwa anairudia juu umemfudisha na kufudishana si lazima tukae chini na karamu na karatasi tunafudishanaka kwa observation tunafudishana kwa emotion wakati naona my, my mother akilia <coughs> nikiwa msichana mdogo wa 5 years na muuza ni nini alafu <coughs> namwambia umeumizwa na wanaume <coughs> ako katoto kamerani lesson kubwa hakaja kuambia imeenda kwa medula obrangata mara moja na ikarara hapo itakagojea akiwa miaka 22 kakiolewa Alafu kukue na crisis. Kama hiyo tena kamuke, usikie nako bedroom. Alafu wanasema hii ni rana. Hata mama yake alilia liya hivyo tu kwa bedroom. Si rana. Si rana. Hawangali kwa paipo mtu wanaitu Abrahamu. Abrahamu alienda akaona atakufa kadaganya watu. Sara ni sister yake. Nasijui kwa nini watu nasemaka ni kudaganya na Abrahamu was speaking the truth. Sara was his stepsister. Hiyo kitu Mungu alikuja kubadilisha baadaye. Kitambo watu walikuwa na wana wao kwa wao. Nikiona matira matirani ni olimu. Tonoe kwa kutukani hata kama it is very important mnachanganyisha na damu inasafika. Sasa <laughs> ukiwa you are cousin. Usi akili olimu ugewe ile iguru. Utaoa mtu ya level ya ujiga yako. Utaoa mtu wa temperament zako. Utaoa mtu ambaye kama hajui biashara na naye hujui. So mtaleta kitu ina gani hapa duniani? So people are marrying from among their relatives. So Abraham alikuwa mewa stepsister. Sarah. Na alipona ni murembo sana. Akadaganya kwa mfarumi. Akasema apana ambia mfarumi huyu ni my sister. Diyo asikufe. I think. Miaka nyingi badae. Wakiwa jikoni wakigwajea chakura. Akaanza story. Na kijana wake Isaac. Kama mpia yu wa mamu ni murembo sana. Huyo wakefanya ni kufe misili huyu. Huyo. 
Hata Mufarumi alisikia maneno yake akasema Dehera kau. Eh bwana cheka na Isaac. Anafikiria Isaac ni story ana enjoy. Hajui inajiadika. <laughs> Isaac alipokuwa mkubwa <laughs> amejikuta kwa mazingira kama ile ile ako Misri kuna fero mwingine. Na amependa Rebecca. Alitoa hiyo fero mara moja. Akasema mwabieni ni my sister. <laughs> Ika tida toke gia na haa, oh, timu yonu mwale wama ito. No clear le kama baba. Sasa watu wanaza kusema, angali ya raana ya hakuna raana hapo. Ni kufudishana. <laughs> Najua munataka ikuwe raana diyo musikuwe na responsibility. Titi raana. Itabidi mubadilisha ya kiri. You are going to have to change your mindset. Yeah, you are going to have to. Najua tunapenda sana Afrika kuwabiwa hii ni raana. Mutoto, mutoto hata hasomi nyubani. Rafu wa kishika hii. Una tuletea hapa tumpake mavuta. Luka ni kuotelele. Maguta. Maguta mea kumulitika niyate ya kitho moi. Maguta ita, ita mkubusha. Na otanelesi ni kitu tunaona hakibadiliki hata hakitia bidi. Hatu taomba kwanza. Wacha kwanza hakuwe serious na masomo. Aweke attention kwa, kwa, kwa vitabu. Aache mchezo nyingi. Afanya revision yake vizuri bila kucherewa. Iki improve tutajua si pepo. Kwanza pande hii ya mutaki hii mahubiri. Kwa nini? Kwa nini ya mutaki? <laughs> kutoka hapa. Kutoka hapa kurudi hivi. Kwaona ya mutaki? Wakati unaona sister yako wa meorewa na anashinda kirudi nyubani. Na karaibiri. Jua mimi ni melelewa maeneo ni meona hizo vituko sana. <laughs> mutu. Mutu wanafukuzwa na muzea na kuja. Na mbebeba mutoto kwa do. Munasikia kwa do. Nye! Ni vitu baya sana. Ni kuroka watoto huko. <laughs> No, watu wale wato wanaona hicho kitendo na ni wadogo Awa wamerogo wakiri Wamesika marriage ni kukibia na kitu hiko kwa dongi Hata akiolewa huyu Na saa hiyo yuwa sister wa staradithiri Anaona katotoka kumpaka kanatoka kajaribu kumuangalia Ukekirete okay, do Umeanza kumutegenezea doa yake sasa huyu wa staradithiri No, wakoka naka naka kia kekira luge kafu Kawoka kekio do <laughs> Todo maana mwanafunze na kuwaka peta kuliko mwalimu <laughs> Kawoka kekio do Nye nye Afu muna saa maangalia hii ni rana. Nilileta wagu na do, mwigine na kia naleta. Analeta wake na kia do, wagu na rana. Mind is it. Jina vana nibarikie. Ama mugu kulia kwa bomba hizo, mulikuwa muna sikia mumerara na huko, muna sikia wazewa na kesi juu ya doa. Ya yuwa sister, mhm, baka saa sister, mhm, mhm. So, uka, ukaenda kuwa wana kuwala wakifikiria zina kuwaga hivyo. Yatiku, sasa hagalia, sasa uko two years in marriage na umekuwa na kezi nane. <laughs> kezi nane. Na saa hii unamari, unataka ni mariza ibada, ukibia uka kezi higine. <laughs> We mwetelele ni kezi higi. <laughs> If you are listening to me here and you are a young man or a young lady, you don't have to go that direction. It is not a must. Na usita ganyo ya namutu tekuna rana ina kuwaka kwetu ina letaka makisi kwa doa. Hakuna. Yours can be different. Ashiri. Hakuna. Ni wongo. Mahen. Jina bwana libalikiwe. Kwa hivyo watu ni responsibility hawapendi. Wanataka stronghold. Ziodoke haraka kama pepo. Tuziobe maramoja. Na kwa muru stronghold. No. Stronghold will change its role. Stronghold itabadilika pole pole. Stronghold sometimes itajika hata ukakae kwa environment higine. Mungu wa kufungulia murango ya college uodoke kwenyu kidogo. Hawonayu kiodoka kwenyu ukirudia muweza nagi? Na watu? He? Eh? Unakuja ukiwa na hati tutumbaka wanasema ya unaya meti kuringa. Ni meenda mahali ni kabadilishu wa thinking. Yeah. Si si kiburi. Ni mebadilishu wa mkufikiria. Wale tulikuja na ilobi. Urudi geshagi. Tunaunaga wanasamaga watu wa Nairobi wakona maringo. Ni maringo kweli? Hapana tumekuja huku Nairobi metupereka bio mpaka ikabidi tubadilike. We are changed now. Kama tulikuwa tunakama hali tukikula story the whole day. We can't do that now. Mana tumejua tukifanya hivyo tutari parent. So Nairobi metukibiza mpaka tumebadilisha our way of thinking. Vitu zilikuwa zina tu interest. Hatuna interest zena nazo. Na zi kuringa we are changing. <laughs> Jina bwana libalikiwe. Jina bwana libalikiwe. Uh, kwa hivyo ni vizuri kushika hivyo ya kwamba uh, uh, as I finish strongholds uh, demons sorry they can come quickly, they can also live quickly but strongholds are, bro are broken down slowly demons come out by the anointing of the Holy Spirit the strongholds are broken by scripture na 
in scripture being in a community developing habits of worship training your thoughts turning them to god beginning to work with your mind amen now kwa hivyo mindset precisely it is the correction of thoughts yani unaenda ukikusanya mawazo and beliefs na na, na maimani that will begin to shape your thought habit amen then your thought habit inaanza ku affect your thinking then your thinking inaanza ku affect how you feel and what you do when you feel that amen and then your mindset will also impact how you make sense of the world vile unaelewa dunia inategemea na mindset hata vile unajielewa mwenyewe how you make sense of yourself na by the way si maneno ya ya, ya bible peke yake hata science yenyewe inasema science inasema uh, your mindset is formed by combined interaction of habitual thoughts and corresponding images and emotions they elicit then more importantly it appears that once your thoughts and emotions have become habitual they form a neural network that keeps the mindset habitually in place keeping you literally on aut automatic yani ukisha form mindset unakaa mtu wa kuanda remote control circumstances yote ikijitokeza utareact kulingana na mindset without thinking jina bwana libarikiwe jina bwana libarikiwe Siniwaambia basi kwingine kwa mfano muafrika kuna vitu wanavionaga na jia fulani na zina muaffect hazi affect mtu mwingine na na mtu huyu wako hapa duniani kama familia moja walisema waliona kaburi sijui ni babu yao na ni, ni msimu ya mvua kaburi ikabomoka you know wanaita na maombi sasa ninashanga maombi ya kufanyia nini mchanga mnaishi muranga kunyeshe mchanga ibomoke ya muitana maombi kwa nini <laughs> kwa nini it happens it's on it's unfortunate imefanyika kwa kaburi lakini hata ingefanyika kwa zizi ya ngombe ama ifanyike kwa kitchen but at this time ikagonga kaburi najua hata kuna watu wananihurumia nikisema hivyo hiyo <laughs> ndio mindset sasa unaru <laughs> mindset yako kai kapas time okay what kai ramenya ni mudo kyurathe ndo look at you na saa hiyo mtu ana reason hivi amesoma ako na degree na hawezi acha kufikiria hivyo because mindsets don't care at umesoma usipozimulika na neno hazikufi na wakati wake wa kuzichomoa ukifika utazichomoa kama expert hata mtu mwenye hajui utamaduni utasikia kikwambia unaona hii hii <coughs> hii hi, mpaka mtafute mzee na atoe kafara ya ngombe moja na ikue black haya mpaka unashaka katuika tunaishingi na, na morogi na atie si murogi mindset but mindset hii merara hapo bila kazi for me, kwa miaka mingi ya kukuja town kitu ikitokea zikirilete atatokea na utaramu haujakoja kama mtu akakupea concussion nyingine ukapona na si daktari hata alianguka hesabu akakwambia uchukue la novela hmm? nusu kilo uchanganyishane na ma magadi soda hmm? ikichemka ikichemka uweke kaomo kadogo na, na vivitu zinavyokaa hapo wewe ukikunywa bila advice huyu utakufa <laughs> but ukikunywa kikuwa advice unapona <laughs> like the things my dad was mixing for the cows hiyo ni bomu <laughs> ni bomu atasema mpaka kayo kasabuni kadogo <laughs> na ngobe inakunywa inapona na my father alifika za dadivili <laughs> lakini vitu amefundishwa kwa akili sita ikitokea program inajiweka peke yake inajirot ina bwana libarikiwe nataka unipatie kitabu cha judges chapter 6 nisome ikiwa illustration nifunge mkutano leo nataka tumalize mapema kwa sababu kuna mkutano wa wanayudhi baadaye na wa, please hata kama wewe si mwanayudhi uh, let's encourage these young people tafadhali turudi kwa mkutano ya saa 8 uh, tukue na wao hapa na kuna mhubiri rafiki yetu anakuja kuwanenea ambaye he is very good and very anointed for the young people jina mbona libarikiwe so it's gonna be a great thing being here together judges ipatie judges chapter 6 uh, nianza kusoma mstari wa 11 look at verse 11 inasema now the angel of the lord came and sat under the oak terebinith at opra ofra sorry which belonged to Joash the Abiezrite and his son Gideon was beating wheat in the in the wine press to hide it from the Midianites 
Nipatia hiyo mistari haraka haraka. Now let me get my Bible quickly. Kitabu cha Waamuzi ama Judges chapter 6 mstari wake ni wa 11. Tutasa tuko 12. Inasema and the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. Ate buwana yuko pamoja nawe, wewe mutu muku shujawa vita. Mutu waliyejificha, maraika wabuwana kamuita shujawa vita. Kumanisha ukijaji maisha yako na sakamstanzila ukonazo sahi, you could be wrong. Maana huyu amejificha kwa ajili ya kuwagopa wa midiani, lakini mungu wanamuita shujawa vita. Na kuna mashuja wengi sana wanakuwa kwa wamejificha Wamejificha hata kwa biyashara Haujai kutamutu kwa biyashara ukaona hizi biyashara ni kujificha Haimukai Unafanya hii biyashara juu ya mindset Trust you me Unakuta mutu kazi ya nafanya na yeye hazi ya batani Lakini ya naogopa kufikiria zaidi ya hapo Asianza kulipa garama Kuna watu wanataka kutulia kwa hii biyashara konayo kwa sababu alisha master Hata haram, kuna, kuna wakati na muitaka akiwa hajaiseti. Juhili setiwa mpaka ikajua kulia. <laughs> Anajuaga wakati wame sukumu wa sana na kajua vile watafanya. Kujaribu kumbadilisha. My friend, let me tell you, it is not everybody you can help. Hata kuna mtu neza approach hapo, ujaribu kumuintroduce kwa biyashara nye pesa zaidi ya hili ya nafanya. Na hata ikata. Kwa sababu gani ya mezoya hii gine. Ya mezoya hivi kwamba haji amini, haji oni ya kio, haji imagine inja ya hilo system. Oh, and how many people do we have? Wanaita kitu kazi na nikujificha. Ayi, hata, hata kuna, na vijana, especially wastana wadogo munisikirize. Usiposika kitu nina kuambia, hata doa utaigia ukajificha. <laughs> Wehi zake kuke hiko ini, lakini shida ya doa nayo, utajificha tutoto tuanze kukuja. Mujificha pamoja. <laughs> and it will be very bad for you. By the time unalia raisa hiku wa mchezo, weni mama ya watoto. <laughs> maisha, maisha itaanza kukua gumu. <laughs> Kwanzia hapo. Usikai, usikawa ingia dani ya kitu diyo ujifiche. Uyu anafanya kazi na kila mtu wangesema, alright, anapura nafaka. Rakini, kwa kujificha, kwa sabu gani, ako hapa, juu kuna kitu anawopa kwa akiri, wa mediani. Akikubuka medianite, they, they choose the wrong place. Kuna watu wame kontroliwa na feelings na behavior, wame kontroliwa na mindset mpaka, amejiondoa kwa kitu kinaitakwa big stage ya maisha. Ukimu, ukitaka, ukitaka musikosane, muweke kwa small stage. Kama ni kitu inafanyika akue backbench. Akue behind the scene. Hata waitaka bere na hataki ya imlight. Na nisawa kama mungu wa mekuumba hivyo. Lakini kama inafanyika kwa ajili ya kuharibika huku. You need to be delivered. Kama ulitengeneza ukue wa imlight. We command you to come to the imlight in Jesus mighty name. Jina bwona nibalikiwe. Bwona sife sana. Ni vibaya sana. Oh, na, hawoni maraika naita Gideon jina. Gideon, inamusha, Gideon mwenye li namushakaza. In fact ask your neighbor for me. Do you know unaweza itwa jina na bigu ushtuke sana miaka hii uko nayo 35 hujaanza maisha juu uko tofauti na kile Mungu anakujua Yaani Mungu akuita kwa doto akuita wewe mtu mkubwa wa biashara paka muuza Mungu wao Kwa sababu todo waandike to kwa nilira nguo umeajiriwa kutangaza nguo kome kome atana Mungu akuja kuambie mighty man of business I think you can tell God, Tafadhali, Tafadhali, tutika adhaka, nila tusiche sayane. Ukijua miaka hii 48, <laughs> umedumu kwa the wrong thing. Imagine munga yukuta ukichiba mashimo. Ukieja marima, atina ulikuwa ukue engineer. These are not the stories. Biguni tutashaka. Na wanda baibu inasema akuta kuwa mchana, na akuta kuwa usiku. Diyo tukue na enough time ya kustuka. <laughs> we need time. Things, mambo itakuwa mengi muda diyo mchache <laughs> Jina buwana libarikiwe <laughs> Mutu Mutu wakia nyesho wa Picha yake in the spirit Wale utumike na adiredi Na sasa unarukia nyumba ya menyewe kwa adirisha Uzionekani na adiredi Juhi meweko kufuri pade ya bere Ginyo hata geko Weta geke ya teka I think you can feel so sorry for yourself Na imagine huyu mutu hayuko hapo juyarana Gideon ya kwa hapa juu ya mindset. Alilelewa kawanyesho wa vitu nyingi waka muintroduce kwa wamiliani. I think hata likuwa na wanyesho wakipita. Unaona hawa? Hawa usikawai wachesea? Hawa diyo wana... Hawa wakiko hawa tunaitika hawa? Hawa diyo wana kuraga ngope zetu na mahidi zetu tukipanda. Paka Gideon na wana... Eh, eh, haa matieta. Aya, 
Hawani wabaya. Gideon alipokuwa mtu mkubwa bila kuabiwa, anaenda kujificha. And so many people are hiding somewhere that I would want God to smoke out today by the grace of God. Jina Bwana libarikiwe. Alafu akasema the angel of the Lord appeared all right verse, verse 13 quickly. Mighty man of Vara. And Gideon said unto him, O my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befallen us? Kwa hivyo vitu zile zilikuwa zimeform mindset ya Gideon, ni vitu zile zilikuwa zimewatetekea. And where be all this or his miracles which our fathers told us of? Where? Kizazi kipya kikikataa kuona Mungu na matendo ya Mungu kwa kizazi kizee. Kitakataa Mungu. Gideon amekwaswa na hajakwaswa na Mungu direct. Amekwaswa na vile Mungu ameachilia kizazi cha their father. Na tuko na responsibility kama wazazi to introduce a powerful God to our children. Tuwaonyeshe Mungu mwenye tunaabudu kwa na uwezo. Na ni lazima tuondoe mentality ya kuonyesha ya kwamba watoto tunakupeleka kwa kanisa dio usikufe. Hapana, kuna wengi sana hawajakuja hapa na wakufi. Tunawaleta kwa kanisa dio wabadilike akili. Wajue mapenzi ya Mungu kuhusu maisha yao. Wa accomplish vitu kubwa and there is nothing wrong about that. Maana mtoto asipoona Mungu kwa maisha yako atachukia Mungu. Utajaribu kumwambia tunataka kwenda kwa, kwa kanisa. Tunataka kuomba. Anasindu wako nini tunaomba? <laughs> Mana uh, gito na fichi maraika na muhuli. Sasa bujumu unasema maiti manovara. Aliki mkire kereji ya pafogu. <laughs> Walimu meachiri ya kina baba, baba yetu hivi. <laughs> Mana baba zetu wanakibizwa tuna wa midiani. Na nitakupatia jibu hapa badai. Oh my Lord. Akasema. If the Lord be with us. Why then is all this before us? And where be all his miracles which our fathers told us of. Saying. Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord hath forsaken us. And delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. Verse 14. Quickly. And the Lord looked upon him and said. Go in this thy might. You see it. This young man has might. But he cannot relate with it. Haju ya konai. Mungu hata asemi ya give you might. And asema. Go in the might you have. And Gideon is wondering. Where is it? Because the mindset is wrong. Jina bwana ni barikiwe. And thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent thee? Verse 15. And the Lord said unto him, O my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh. Kama kuna kitu ina uwaga greatness, ina confused identity, ni poverty. It will never know my door in Jesus' name. Umasikini ni baya. Umasikini ni training ya kizaziki kikine. Umasikini shida yake inaongeaga mpaka ikiwa silent. That's why I hated this demon. Si, umasikini si lazima ichukue microphone. Inakuaga silent but very loud. Sisi tulitua pua, tukua shule. Na hatu jawai ya bia mutu tuko pua. Sijui wali julia wapi. But pua teata ujaribu kuivicha. Inaabiaga kila mutu. Weo ni pua. Unaenda kufungua ranch box, puva te inaogea. <laughs> Manu umebeba mahidi hapo na mbojo moja moja imeruka kule. Hata bila kia, kisi kwa tusema oh 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 ikai. You know, puva te is already talking. <laughs> Ani lazima tukatai umasikini katika jina Yesu Kristo. Ya kabisa lazima tukatai umasikini. Na kama kuna pepo hujua kujitetea kwa hii dunia, ni hii. Maana inajua it is very very potential Iko na potential ya kufunga kizazi Kimoja ifunga kingine na ifunga kingine Kwa sababu inajifanyaga hambo Pumata is very hambo But very little Umasikini ni nyanya kevu sana lakini hatari kubwa Nyanya kevu Ni nyanya kevu mbaka iko na favor Inakuwa na, na fake favor The only time you get favor It is when the road is with you Or poverty is with you Hey Jaribu siku moja ukuja hapa umegongwa jicho. Iko karibu kutoka. Utuambia na hitaji miatano ni yede hospitali. <laughs> Uwana tutachanga mpaka ipite. Hubate inajua kusaidia watoto wake. <laughs> Iwa maintain kwa kifungo. <laughs> siku hila utakatana nayo. Inapigana na wewe. Kama, kama ni wewe tu kwa hii dunia. Ata pasta yote ya kiinuka aseme hatu taki umasikini. Nazima adikuwe na gazeti. Prosperity preacher. And I keep on asking people. You don't want us to preach prosperity, you want us to preach what? <laughs> Look at me. We are prosperity preachers. Amen. Go write it. <laughs> Where na huko? <laughs> Unataka tukusanya watu tuwabia wakue maskini? Diyo tukue watu wa mungu, hambo. Kuwa vino tuare na kuu. Beba umaskini pereka na huko. Hatutaki zizi. 
ukiingia na hiyo pepo hapa tutaifukuza kila zandi until one day if you don't make it yourself you shall tell your child you cannot be poor we refuse it uanze kuwekea maanani masomo uanze kuwekea maanani vitu zile zina mata uanze barabara na safari ya kuondoka kwa umaskini hatutakubali kuhubiriwa ijiri ya kutukarisha katika umaskini because nothing happens in poverty even GBN TV cannot exist on poverty it costs money and we cannot preach the gospel when you are weak people, poor people. That was Gideon for you with the potential to save Israel. Lakini kile kimemukalia ni poverty. Alisema, but my family is poor. At least Gideon hata haviji. Because I've heard my family is poor. And it is the poorest in Manasseh. It is the poorest in Gedurai. Gila kwa nipalikiwe. Mimi nataka hata muanze kushika watoto wangu kuambia hutakuwa maskini. Nilisoma kitabu moja ya mtu ninapenda kusoma vitabu zake wanzi na hwera anaitwa Napoleon Hill. Ameandika kitabu kizuri sana kinaitwa uh, I don't know something to do with positive thinking. I cannot remember the title very clearly. But it's about business. Alikuwa anaongea kuhusu biashara na akasema kitu very important akasema business is simply people's money. Ukigojea ukuwe na pesa yote ufanya biashara utakufa ukijaribu. Biashara inafanyagwa na pesa ya wenyewe. <laughs> Wewe una contribute idea. Wanadamu wanaleta pesa. Bank zote ziko na pesa yenu. Lakini zinakuwa so tough zinakuwekea mpaka sheria ya kuzitoa. <laughs> na tizi yao. <laughs> Niliona manager ananiambia niandike barua nitoe pesa yangu. Pole hani ile thino leo taliona. Hidi geteka. <laughs> Nimwambia sitaandika. <laughs> mpaka mpaka hiyo barua kuna mahali nauliza ati yule natumia pesa anaenda kufanya nazo nini? Dalilia urui. <laughs> Nilimwambia si bibi yangu ni mtu mwingine. How can you ask me what the money is going to do with the money? Hii ni shule ama ni bank. And you can't imagine it and they are there and they are doing business with your money. And they are that tough. Akasema kwa hiyo kitabu hata World Bank iko na iko na deni kwa ufani unajua hii bank wewe na kukopesha iko na deni <laughs> look at me every billionaire has debt kila billionaire anakuaga na deni mtu yule hana deni hawezi toka kwa umaskini jera yako madhe na inene roni <laughs> Maana ukishika shamba, tuseme kwa mfano umeshika shamba yenye unaweza katakata, uuze 100 million, lakini kuinunua unahitaji that million, utatoa wapi that million za hii. You take the idea to the bank. They give you money, unanunua shamba, unakatakata, isn't it? Yes. Roni dorogo oso. <laughs> Na jaribu kukutoa umaskini. Maana umaskini inaonyashaga mtu kuple safe. Inakuambia wewe usijaribu kuchukua deni wewe oh, utafirisika utachotoa alafu nakukumbusha ukiwa mtoto mzee alichotoa hapo karibu na kwenu unakumbuka vile alikuwa amebebwa hivi mpaka unasema wewe ni alikia ndo mekea biashara mimi wacha watu wafanye biashara and this is the spirit that is at work in your life inafukia potential businessman ndani anakaa kwa pavat tena kwa mentality ya kukwisha na kuona hopeless kwa sababu hata kama ako na idea hawezi kuitoa kwa watu maana anaamini i will only do it when i have all the money all billionaires are in debt. Every billionaire you know ako na roni. Na hiyo di inafanya akue na pesa na wei hauna. Wakapi mutachukua roni kesho. Let me. Idi otako. Otako leo ni kuchukua roni. Inua mkono niyo. Alright. Mungu wa kubaliki. Ile roni baya ni ya kukura madasi. Mana izi maroni za sayo kwa huku. Una, unajukua laini ya shero kwa hafu na shido kimutaimu hivya hafu na kibia Misi oke okay, kuhusu roni kama hiyo tafadhali Na ongea kuhusu roni metanguliwa na idea Roni kitanguliwa na idea that is good loan Masijuni metuwa wapi hiyo maneno na haiko haba But I'm just trying to show you how poverty breaks Sasa kwa hiyo kitabu wamesema Kuna mutu moja mbae sahini CEO wa, 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 wa company ya masabuni na of course ukifanya vitu kama hizo you, you get rich because wanadamu wote utumia sabuni kila siku hata kama umerogo hata kununulia tu 
Jiu lazima waoge. <laughs> na mchagua ge la ini haijui ilana. <laughs> Kwa mfano kama unauza chakura. Ona demburo ya dome ya Hata kama ni merongo lazima watu wakule. Hawakuli juu sijarongo. Wanakula juu wakona ja. <laughs> Tukua buusha le tutakula nyama kwa kwa hata kama umerogo. <laughs> juu hatukuli urogi tunakula nyama. Na diyo unausa. Aleluya. <laughs> Sasa mama yake ati alimuzaidia. Mama yake haku watajiri. Aliwalea na shida kubwa. Lakini kuna, kuna statement alikuwa narudia kila ziku. Na haka haku jua kijana anaishika. Sorry. Haku jua kijana alikuwa anaishika. Maana alikuwa na shida akiambia kijana. Unajua kwa nini baba yako alikuwa pua. Na haka tuwacha kwa umaskini. He did not want to be rich. Akashika jina want. Oh my father didn't want to be rich. Because some people think God makes some people poor. No. Ate muku wakai biguni ya seme. Ebu ni pehi wa matope ni tengeneza masikini moja nzuri hapa tare. Toreke mudheni muwega. Tefu na kufinya huku na kuweka donyi za masikini. Gaida abudu wapaka hito taisiyo be. Mugu wafanyagi hivu. Hiu masikini yako ni ya family ama kijiji ama shule. Influence ya marafiki somewhere. But not God. Make no mistake. Kuna watu tunasema hivyo wanakasirika. Kari kiu rara. Kari... Kwa ni unatetea zida? Bebe. Umasikini ni baya na ichukia kwa sababu diyo mother spirit ya hizi zikine zote. Mahali meka miaka mingi ita produce mekora. Ikika mahali miaka mingi broken marriage. Hawonagi kuna doa zinaishi tu kwa sababu kuna kitu. Hata haziedagi maombi. Sanda wanaenda huru pa kikuota juu atu migu wa metoa. Wa metoa viatu. Afu wanasema, babe, nataka ice cream. Nasa, junauna sisi, sisi ya tuwedi uko juu kitu ice cream tutapigana. <laughs> Ona? Anda kuweka migu kwa maji. <laughs> Nasi tuko huku tukisema, na puta emea, na kwa uru. Sayu tuko hapa tukisema, na vuta baraka. Yule havuti baraka, anafanya migu hivi. Kwa maji na jioni ya takura bila kwa bila kubuta baraka. Wadugu na wadada, mini metumikia mungu bila, ni metumikia mungu nikiwa na vea. Na si sem. I like this other better. Ni dea ya kuwira. Na tewi ya pua. Kumanisha. Umasikini mefanya mpaka karama nyiki zisitoke. Maana Gideon ni mighty man of Arab. According to heaven. But the guy is not manifesting. Why? We are poor in Manasseh. And he has a point. How about them can make you feel so useless? Inakufanya usikia mpaka kusuma mbele ya watu kuogea. Lazima uwebe ruhusa. Taku wa imbia wimbo. Muzi sikize maneno. Ok, tu sikize nini? Oh, sorry. Muzi sikize sauti. Muzi sikize maneno. Then, ogea wacha kuiba. Kwa sababu kama ni maneno, tunaitajika tu sikize. Wacha na sauti. Alia. Ogea. Unaomba ruhusa kwa sababu you think you are do don't matter. That's why. Nani hii kitu inakusubua ni mindset. That's what I hate about poverty. Shida poverty inakura sana. Hayodoi tu vitu. Inaondorea mtu mpaka dignity. Inakunyanganya worth. Inakunyanganya value. Inakuacha tu mukebe ya kuwa blagu wa anything that people want to tell you. No. We must refuse it. And we must tell our children it ought not to be so. Like that mother keep telling your son your dad died poor because he didn't want to be rich. It is not because of God. That's what the mother kept telling the boy. And the boy today as I speak he's a CEO of a soap company. The biggest, one of the biggest in the world. Employing thousands and thousands. Ina bwana libalikiwe. Ladies and gentlemen. Mungu mwenyewe haeche katumia mutu wajabadilisha mindset. Kili ya nafanya hapa na Gideon ni kumbadilisha mafikra. Na Gideon ya mekuwa matu kwa kusema noa mpua. Ya mpua in manase. My family is poor. Na hata huu masikini na musubua zi yake. Ya my family. And I am the least in my father's. Igwe, igwe hii yodu. Igwe. Vitu are necessary. Atina midi yoni mkiti idami imba kuwetu. So what? Nikitabu gani hii ya mungu ulisoma akasama na baliki first upon a second na that. Ukizaliwa last you are finished. Where is it? Your position in the family does not matter. No, please look at me. Gido nari muambia mimi diyo kiti idami imba kuwetu. What is this guy talking? Mana, mpaka unashanga. Is he aware he's talking to an angel? Anashika ni maraika anaongea na imagine mentality can be so bad. Mindset can be so rotten. Unaongea na bigu unataka kuya device. 
Atunambia maraika zitafanya hiyo kazi kwa nini mimi nikitinda mimba nitakuguruka. Eh. Maraika hajui yeye nikitinda mimba. A man that has just left the presence of God right now to come communicate to you, you are going to argue with him on basis of your place of birth in the family. Oh, mindset. Mindset is bad. Wrong mindset is bad. In our device move. No, I'm last upon. Does it matter? So what is Gideon doing? He is echoing what he has been told by the society. Mm. It, this is not him talking. Alikuwa ameshaambiwa mama last born awafaniki yangu. Unajua kuna mtu alitoa bivyo na nikaamini at some point. Ashindwe sana. <laughs> at last born hawanaga akili kwa sababu mzee na wazaa wakiwa ameshazeeka, amechoka choka. Begu yake ni dhaifu. Unaona mpaka mtu kinyoka ije kuika kikigo wati atoe wa mwisho. Hawana hata kwa mitandao wanaikaa mama last born mapicha. Niliona mmoja atenaosha vyombo akiwa amelala kwa kitanda. At the first born washing utensils. <laughs> first born, sorry. Washing utensils. Anakamua kiveka hapo wakiwa mera kwa kitanda. Na ukisoma hiyo kitu bila hakima ya mungu. Hiyo, hiyo mapepo itakurukia hiyo. At the juwe ni, ni last born. Asa unawana I can't do anything. Nazima ni kwa jawa wengine wa 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 nisa. Hawa nagi ma, ma last born vila wako entitled. Eh? Hata muna endaka kwa amerika thi masikia kisema ya kwa wana mutu taitha ya mutu. Katuera nita nituku taitha na giai. Eh? Ya musaidi yagi mutu. Amutaki ukahamu ya muruta ni laibu. <laughs> Timukuja pamoja mchange. Kwa nini? <laughs> Tukifanya hivyo inaitangwa philanthropy. Stop being entitled. Huyu ni mtu wa mesikiliza matarifa. At the last born na itajika kusaidiwa. Na kama uko hapa wea ni last born usi tuchukie. Na jaribu kubadisha akiri. As much as tunakusaidia. Tafadhali yeda bere tukufikie. Hawa watu wananyamaza diyo manastu po. Nasema, uende bere tutakufikia. Wana didi kuwa niri maguru. <laughs> Jina buwana libalikiwe. Sasa angalia. Mutu ate kwa sabi wamezali wakiwa. Uh, uh, ok, wacha ni kuulize. God forbid. But do you know kitu ikifanyika hawa wengine watu wako bere yako wakufe? Utabaki first born. <laughs> so, hii argument I make sense. <laughs> You are only last born only because some other people were born before you. Lakini kama unge, ungezaliwa uambiwe, tulikuwa na mtoto mungine na alituacha. Na mungine na alituacha. Ungekuwa nini? Lukia wale. Bedi yo uko sasa. That I am the last born. And he said unto him, Oh, my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor. And I am the least in my father's house. And the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee. And thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. Mugu wa mekata kujoini kwa hiyo conversation. Ameiruka. Gaide da gana. Jua ta hana jibu ya vitu kama. Yumana na jua sosi yake siye. Ameiruka akasema wachana na vitu jiki ze ulukorast bo na maskini. I'll be with you. That's all you need. Nitakuwa na wewe and you shall smite the Midianites like one man. This is the mentality which we must build in our youth. Wambia ya kuamba kuzaliwa kwa kwa ukiwa wapili wa munisikize wanayuduwala mkwa hapa. Najua hata wengine, for unfortunate circumstances, in quotes, unakuta umezaliwa na mama kabra olewe. Munakuja munaigia kwa doa ya mutu mwigine. Alafu wanakupea ka attitude ni kama, you are not part of the family. Wewe unasikiriza mutu na bagi yake unakubali hivyo. Alafu unaanza kuwa buri. Mano ukishika hiyo idea ya kuamba sipendu kwetu, Hata mikutana mgini na niambia mimi si first born wa my father. Daigu hile kumbu hura rui. Maka unasikia ujashika maana mi na jua biology. Kabuza, why si first born na iwa? Unamanisha nini? Akasema ni my mother aliniza ni kaolewa ni tukaolewa na my mother. Na sasa huyu muzee alikata kule cognize mimi kama first born. Na wazee wale mkwa hapa ni wa advice. Ukioa mama na mutoto ni uwe mpaka mutoto. Tuatugire furulive. Usihalibu inji. Kama umewa mtu na wako na mtoto, huyo mtoto ni wako. Na anaitajika kuwe embraced, ajisikia edi ya muzaliwa wakuanza huko. Mpatia hiyo right na privilege. Na hawa wegine kuhitu wa seke na dhandi, haita waharibia maisha. They will still be great children. Na mungu hata katika biblia, hamedumu kuruka mafastu kona. Hei, aliruka kaini. Akabaliki habari, tiguo. Akaruka esau. Akabaliki jeko. Akaruka manase diyo huyo kwa yufurem. 
Ndiyo na dikuwa da fast bone. Mi hata sitaki iyo fast bone. Na mwelaro gogo nea na kuzini ya kutu. Kitu inarukwa hivyo wea unatufanya na yo nini. Mi nataka seke. <laughs> Ina wabona libarikiwe. Na asa nae na mtu atadumu wapa kusame ya kwa wanda kwetu ya wani chukulika ma fast bone. My, my father ali ni katari sema yesi mimi si fast bone. Si yakae na iyo fast bone. Bwana anasema he doesn't matter how be with you. That's all you need in this life. Kwa hivyo mwona yuthi yako hapa, tafuta mungu uwe na mungu. Haita jarisha, haita jarisha unajua baba yako hama haumujui. It makes no difference. Haita jarisha kama uriolewa ukiwa umeshaza liwa, pamoja na mama yako. It doesn't... Tusiyaki uvi tukama hiyo. Mana hata mungu mwenye ya mekataa kuingia kwa hiyo conversation. Anamuambia you are talking a language I don't understand. Well, I'll be with you and you shall smite the midnight like one man. That's all you need. Forget the stories. I'll be with thee and thou shalt smite the midnight as one man. Verse 17 as I finish. Verse 17 quickly. As he, and he said unto him, If now I have found grace in thy sight, <laughs> then show me a sign that thou talkest with me. Mindset is that you with Mungu Ishara. Mindset. Kesho kuna interview. Alafu unaomba baba kama unataka nipata hiyo kazi. Naomba kunyesha usiku. <laughs> kama unaopadeti maisha yako na hiyo level, you have something to do about your mind. Kwa nini usisikie kuna interview? Ukisikia ni kazi hilo unapenda, ujiambie naenda kesho na nitaipata. Kwa nini unaomba ishara? Ishara hilo unahitaji tu ni hii ukosefu ya kazi. Si hauna kazi kwa muda mrefu sasa na imetangazwa hiyo ndio ishara. Uyo metokewa na maraika na badu wanaomu. Ni ishara gani kubwa kuliko maraika. An angel is talking to you and you're asking the angel for a sign. Yani ya mepoteza trust. Ha trust mpaka angel. Ani kata ni muangalia kaona na. Muraika wa yohana hitha wale. Mana mkio shida ya kuwa maskini. Wacha ni niwaerese mana mini kona experience. Shida ya kuwa maskini. Kila kitubaya kifanyika kwa muje ni njini. Hata mkio hamuku kuwa. Mi hata tumewa itoka kwa show show, tumetoka kwa show show, inaituwa nini? Holiday. Tunarudi tunaguta makosa. Yanyi ate tulifanya kabura tuende. Tata maka. Mpaka tuliabine na my brother, hatu huku hura. Tuka okota mawe, tuka tadika hawaka, sayo maona. Zibuna vile muna tupa mawe, nenyue, ninyini. Ami uwezi jitoa, nani umasikini tu? Karai inapotea, wea ni mtuote ya standardi dhiri Unaambiwa, weta hiyo karai umepereka kwenye Mbaka unasikia kuhuza, karai ni kapanyie nini So Gideon mi na muerewa, unokiona hatrust maraika Hame durumiwa sana Mbaka nasema, na muraiko yohana hitha wake maniwe Mbaka hukule ni doga kasa u Alisema ni menyonya ngombe yake, na huu maraika wanafanana Nisema, umetoka kwa mugu wewe Maraika na mwambia, come from the throne room of God, nipe ishara Nipe ishara Ugo nugo munga masuka munga mudo ni ya ngope Tati niyabia umetoka umetoka wapi This is it This is what is happening Because mini kitokewa na marika siwezi kumuliza ima suwari The presence of an angel will convince you even before he talks Na gidyo na kona ujasiri ya kumuabia Tanyo nyeli ukaudu menyene Mindset Mindset ito inafanyaka uolewe Wiki ya kwanza yote unapiga filikiseni nyumba ya mutu Paka socks Afu unakuta peya moja ikona soksi ya zifa nani? Kasa wana ilu minati lewe, wana ilu minati sasa ji. Nimefanya counseling wa mama kwa ofisi mama na niambia kwa mba pasta. Najua sister ni kuogea sana. Nili ole wana ilu minati. Najumi najua ilu minati ni kitu kubwa. Ilu minati si hizo vitu muna semaga njini. Nikamu pia kama unge kuwa miole wana ilu minati uge kuja hapa na Mercedes. Waya si ilu minati. Wea si muke iluminati. Muke iluminati ya kona kakitu. Tafadhali. Tuzi subuane. Unajua hata kuna atuwa na nyongu wa usiku wa nasema mutoto wangu. Hame igizwa iluminati. Mwana waku wala ito onego masiyadhina. Kuna iluminati hiko hapo. Wewe. Tika mwambia si iluminati. Akani ya pia mzeni iluminati. Tika mwiza kwa nini. Nika fikiri ya taniyambia. Maybe ya liyamuka usiku. Haka mkuta anaomba na mizuma. You know something. Ananiyambia zile pesa naona kiesabu siku hisi. 
Ni tu tiko haya goya goma na mudo atutaomba mashetani na mtu mimi. Ni ndele tona thina kafa joke with ogari ati. That's what you know as a good oh oh oh. Oh oh. My mind is at me. Imeanza kuogea inaogopa pesa. Ukiezabu pesa nyingi wewe ni mina district. Hata hata uliza Mungu. Nikajaribu kumconvince mse wako si Illuminati. Kama huna ishara ingine, I refuse to agree with. Alikuja kugudua baadaye. Mzee amepata tenda na, na county government lakini hajamwambia maana nao hawaogeagi sana. Sasa na hesabu nasema kai. Kai. Akiwa amekaa kwa kona mpaka nashika watoto huko kabla mpaka itohoe. Mzee <laughs> <Uche> ni tuombe. <laughs> Unajua ni nini? Alikuwa mishandled na watu wenye pesa. Watu wenye pesa walikuwa wanakula na nivi pesa na wale mko hapa mtoto wenyewe sikaita pia kwa wako mnakula mnamalisha. Amewaangalia paka nyamera yeye gidi. Hmm. Atachukia pesa na matajiri. Ataona pesa na kubuka ile experience. Lazima atailebo. Hii ni Illuminati. <laughs> na hajui kwa nini ana react hivi. Ninabona libarikiwe. Sasa Gideon ako na hiyo mashida. Anaambia mama Marika nionyesha ishara. That it is you that is talking to me. My friend, look at me. Wewe wewe kwa tia hii. Nawezaje kuogea na wewe afu unuze kama ni mimi naogea na wewe. No, it's not your glory. This is stupid. This is confusion. And I thank God it is here in scripture so that you can know. This mashida has chance na wewe. Imagine somebody talks to an angel and tells the angel, show me a sign that I may know it is you that is talking to me. Ni kama saa hii nimalize kuhubiri Musema tuonyesha ishara tujue ni yale ulikuwa na ubiri hapo. Tuonye na yako hujagia. You know the murute goko urumo na todo you know because covid kama hizo sina jibu. Ogo do nona ni nire kiinuke. Kama umeona si mimi nilikuwa naongea. Basi hata nyumbani I can't help you. Na anaambia malaika exactly that. Ate tumeongea na wewe but sijakubali ni wewe. Hebu nionyesha ishara ni jue ni wewe unaongea. Nipatie mstari wa 18 tumalize inasema depart not hence i pray thee we we Gideon is not playing Gideon is totally messed up depart not hence i pray thee until i come unto thee and bring forth my present and set it before thee and i will tarry until thou come again we and Gideon went in and made ready a kid and even alienda mpaka kupika chapati na kuchinja dama apike chakula hivi aletee malaika approve ni yeye Jesus so, watu wale wote mnaishingi kwa kusema kama ni wewe Mungu ni shida uko naye si kwamba ati unapenda kuongea na Mungu you have a problem sisi ni aina ile inarukiaga kitu tunaambiwa na Mungu baadaye hakikuwa chenyu <laughs> mainauma gigitiga gigitiga kwa oh. <laughs> Amuko wa mnakutana na gari zinaenda mimi nimewahi yoga na sijalipa trip shule nikataimu gari ya trip dakika kudhi trip wa tena ni unajua watu walikuwa wametuambia mambo mazuri ati huko mnaendaka kuona madimon zikicheka hawa kuona jua hao sikiti ati haihusu hero eh my mother naye nimeenda nyumbani nikamwambia tunahitajika 400 ya trip akasema hana nilioga kama niko na pesa nikagojea roli shida wa, walikuja kuitana na majina watu wote wanaitwa wakasema ukisikia jina yako <laughs> utoke nje nikabaki peke yangu <laughs> kabaki peke yangu nimekaa alafu ninaulizwa wewe umelipa nikamwambia sijui nilipea nani pesa <laughs> Sasa sasa uzuri ya Mungu naye hakunyimi kila kitu. I was so bright in school. So mwenye alikuwa anaitana alikuwa mwalimu wetu wa hesabu. Aliniambia kwa sababu ya hesabu. Kaji nilitagulipia. Bana <laughs> sababu nilikuwa nagonga 198. Akaniambia you are so bright. Wewe ka tu chini it is robot no problem. Kafa wiki na kama ina kodwa ile koko. Afadhali uingie waseme hauhitajiki kukua huko. Si kuomba ishara kama mtu wa elevi. Imagine kama ningekaa nyumbani nisema kama unataka nienda baba nionyesha ishara basi ikuje huko kwetu. Haige kuja. Haikuji. 
Unaezaje kosa kazi unakaa nyumbani ati Mungu akupe ishara kama <laughs> kama anataka ufanye kazi. Nani ameumbwa na mikono bili Mungu anataka afanye kazi? Toka iche wewe ukiwede ukachukue kazi. Wacha kuomba ishara. You are doing that because you have a messed up mindset. Your problem is you are thinking. It has nothing to do with the demons. Na watu na wadada napoenda kumalizia. Ningetaka tu nikukumbusha kuhusu anaitwa nani huyu? Jabez. Kwa sababu prayer nimesema vile nimesema prayer vile vile uhusika kukupatia power ya kukataana with some of the mindsets where you have been subjected. The man of God or the servant of God anaitwa nani? Jabez. I think ameandikwa first Chronicles 4:9. Is it first or second? Chronicles 4:9. Alimuomba Bwana akamwambia kwamba uniondolee uchungu. Unipanulie mipaka. And the Bible says and God had him. And God made him honorable among his brethren or among his brothers. Kwa nini alikuwa anaitwa uchungu? Uchungu hii haikuwa yake. Mama alimzaa kasikia uchungu sana. But badala ya yeye aache hiyo uchungu ifikie kwake, akaiwekelea hata juu ya mtoto. Akasema kulingana na vile nimesikia hata huyu ni uchungu. Kamuita uchungu. Wakidhani ni mchezo jina imemtesa. Imemtesa juu alipewa na mtu mwenye amemaanisha. Imevuta vitu. Imemfanya afukuzwe interview. Mpaka siku moja tu akakaa chini akasema, "Why should I suffer for the pain of my mother?" And I, I, I don't even give birth myself. Yaka sema apana. Mungu na unibariki leo. Oh, and Jabez called on God and visited and saying, Oh, thou who didst bless me indeed. Enlarge my cost or my territory. And that thine hand might be with me. And thou, that thou who didst keep me from evil. That it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. Now, of course, you know. Uh, if you go to verse 9. Dinanza kwa kusema he was honorable among his brothers then he continues to tell you why he ended up being the most honorable among his brethren because he prayed to God against a certain course of life that he didn't like Jina bwana libarikiwe mindsets mindsets can change and you can change your mind by gathering more from God and again playing yourself into the will of God for your own life so that you stop living a life that you have been subjected to by the people that think you must go that direction hallelujah hallelujah thank you thank you thank you asante sana kwa ajili ya kuchukua muda wako kujiangalia vipindi vya neno la Mungu haswa katika hii runinga ya GBN TV ama ukipenda uh, Grace Broadcasting Network. Tumebarikiwa sana kuwa na hii heshima kutoka kwa Mungu kuweza kukuletea mahubiri na kuweza kufikia nafsi yako kwa jia neno la Bwana. Na nimeshukuru ya kwamba umepata nafasi ya kulisikiza neno. Na kwa hivyo ningeshukuru kama ungenikubalia nipate nafasi ya kuomba pamoja nawe. Na utarajie kutoka kwa Bwana ambaye hufanya miujiza. Yeye ni kuhani mkuu aliyeteseka kama sisi, aliyechukua mwili kama sisi. Aliyeteswa na kujua matatizo ya dunia hii kwa hivyo anaelewa unachokipita